Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flytech. Today I will show you how you can make a single needle gauge for your overhead panel. The top plate is sprayed back before the engraving. You will also need a bottom plate to hold the motor, as well as a middle plate for the backlighting. Four female and male hex standoffs, two gears and of course a servo motor. One mounting edge of the motor was removed because it would collide with one of the standoffs. The needle is cut from 3mm acrylic and painted. The shaft is cut from a 4mm acrylic rod and glued to the needle. Two acrylic rings glued to the shaft will prevent the needle from sliding out of the gauge. Now you have watched me for some time assembling all these parts, which wasn't too difficult until now, which surprised me, but now only the gears are missing. And before you mount the gears, you have to ensure that um, this pointer here is set to the middle position, which is the zero position. And you also have to ensure that the motor is turned to its middle position, which is the 90 degrees position. You know, a uh, motor has a range from minus 90 degrees to plus 90 degrees. And not all motors make this really clean. So sometimes they only turn to 89, 84 or something like this. And to ensure that um, the middle position is set correct, you can program it to move to the 90 degrees position and you can um, match this with the position of the pointer. On my website you can find a little Arduino script which sets your motor to the 90 degrees position so you just have to connect your motor to the Arduino and it automatically turns to the middle position. I will also mark this position here on the acrylic sheets so that I don't have to look always at the front to ensure that the shaft is turned correctly. By the way, the shaft. I have made this shaft from clear acrylic because I hope that some rays of the backlighting will find their ways uh, into this pointer here and so illuminate the pointer so that it's more visible 
when the cockpit is dark. I will see if this will turn out good. Now I want to show you how I have drawn these gears here in Fusion to come out with a file for my CNC. Fusion comes with a plugin that can construct you and those gears here and you have to insert it and you can find this under Tools, Add-ins, Scripts and Add-ins and here you can find the Spool Gear add-in and when you have inserted it you can find it under solid and the create tab down here and what this does is that it gives you different parameters with which you can define your gear here first of all i have to insert my number of teeth the standard and pressure angle i leave unchanged the gear thickness will be the thickness of my acrylic material which is three millimeters this doesn't matter here because i will make a 2d drawing so i don't need the thickness here you have to define the hole diameter of the hole in the middle of the gear here and for my servo motor i will use a 4.8 millimeter hole and to fit a gear over my 4 millimeter shaft I use a 4.1 millimeter hole. You can make these holes a little bit bigger if you want to but then uh, you will also have to hold them uh, while you're um, sliding them in place and then secure them with hot glue for example. Now we come to the root fillet radius which is the radius of this corner here and this I will match to my smallest router bit I have. This is a 1.4 millimeter router bit and so the radius would be 0.7 millimeter. Now I will reduce the module. If you lower it too much it will uh, say you how uh, large it has to be in the minimum. And here you can see um, with this root fillet radius this would be too uh, too small so it has to be bigger i think it's the value of my uh, router bit yes this works so and when we say okay it constructs a gear here and to export it i uh, create a sketch on top of it and project the outlines here like so and this sketch I can export as an DXF file which I can use in Estelcam to create a cutout file for my CNC. Now the gauge is connected temporarily to my testing Arduino which uh, is just an Arduino Mega where I only make experiments with one single device like this gauge here. You can see this it is connected via three cables, ground, five volts and the data line. And in the future, I will connect all these devices that only need plain voltage like this here to a dedicated power supply. So the five volts won't need to come from the Arduino. Just those devices which need the power directly from the Arduino like LEDs which have to go uh, on or off these will connect it uh, to the Arduino. In the background you can see I have opened uh, prepared, ProSim system and MobiFlight and here on the upper right we have the uh, gauge from uh, ProSim displays which you can see better than the gauge in the complete overhead panel from Prosim panels. You can see the value here on the left. The fuel temperature is minus one degree Celsius and so the needle is placed here in the gauge. In MobiFlight I have already inserted my device 
which is only the several motor and the only value you have to uh, add in here is the pin setting for the data line which i have connected to pin number seven that's all you need here first of all i will make my settings here in mobi flight i will just add a test insert here let's call this fuel and activate it and declare an offset and what worked for me the best was to use uh, one full offset so one byte i haven't found any documentation of how big the values are which uh, come back here from the system for the fuel temperature and when i used other offsets or bigger sizes then i ended up uh, with some curious values and so this worked for me the best so if you know what i can use uh, for a better way then you can write it down in the comment section my next full free offset is 66 d1 which i insert here the size is one byte as i have said and now we can already go to the display tab choose my arduino mega and the device i have connected and we can already test this and when i click on test here it goes full to the left and stop then it will go full to the right so it works before we come to the settings in prosim i click already on the run button and now in prosim we go to config configurations and combine config and all the settings can be done here in the fuel tab where we find our gauge under the gauges category and here you can see already on the first place the fuel temperature i will insert the same offset i have used in mobi flight an fsu rpc 8-bit unsigned offset 66 d1 and what we have to do now is to say prosim where these values here are on my gauge and i will move these sliders and try to position the needle on that value so you can see this here i grab the slider and when i move it then the pointer is moving too the best way and to position it here is when it comes near to the value then you can just use your arrow keys so i think this should be the zero value and the same i'm doing with the minus 40 there it is and minus 56 i can't reach full the minus 56 here i go up to the point you can see this here in mobi flight where i'm at the full range here the 255 of my value and then i will stop making these inserts and the same here with a 56 i go down to zero and 40 i think here we are at the 40. so these are the settings we have to do in prosim and you can already see the needle is positioned like the needle here in the display so how can we test this now so how can we test the different values now i found that the method which works best was for me to manipulate the outside temperature here and prepared and so i go to a weather and say user defined customize go to the advanced weather temperature and now i will lower the temperature say okay oh on the upper left we can see 15 degrees celsius which is corresponding here to the display tab 
and the needle of our hardware goes is also at this point. Let's make another change here. A lower temperature. Okay, minus 11 degrees Celsius, the display needle has changed and also the needle on our hardware here. You can fine tune this a little bit here, but at the end I think it's not as important if the needle shows minus 10 or minus 11 degrees. You just have to get a sense of what temperature the fuel has here. But all in all, this is working now. The gauge is working and ready to be installed behind the new fuel panel section, which I have to build in an upcoming video. I think I will make a change to the gears here. Um, because you have seen, I can't reach the full range of um, the gauge here. And this can be a problem if I need those very high or low um, values here. And I will make uh, gears so that I can uh, reach a little bit more, maybe 360 degrees with uh, this servo motor. And so I don't have to calculate uh, the gears new every time and for every gauge I will build. And so I can come out with some standard gears and then this will make the construction of the back plates much easier. If you want to build your own gauges at home, you can download the DXF files for all these plates and the pointers from the memo section of my website. Stay tuned for my uh, upcoming video where I will install this gauge here. And if you don't want to miss this, then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.